Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday! You don't need fancy art supplies to make cool art. And even at the office, you may have a moment to make a little doodle. Post-its are perfect for those. To practice hand lettering, you can find yourself a good quote or a saying or anything that speaks to you, so to say. Try out different styles of lettering. Combine writing words in capitals with writing them in your own handwriting. Play with different sizes. Decide which words need emphasis and write them large or in thick lettering. You can also use curly bits, different colors of course, well, just use your imagination. You can trace the lines of handwritten words, fill them in, coloring, by scribbling or maybe just using hatching lines. You can also look up fonts that you like on your computer or online and try what exactly it is that you like about these letter fonts. Try to mimic them. The more lettering you try out, the easier it will get. As you can see, I am making things up as I go, now that I filled up my square of paper with words. I trace some of the words and color them in, for others I just keep the trace shape open. I just go with the flow here and play around. When you're done, you have a fun sticky note to put next to your computer or anywhere else and to remind you of the little message you wrote to yourself. Thank you for watching this video! Now this was just a teeny weeny bit about hand lettering, but there's more where this came from. In my upcoming class, Awesome Art Journaling, we dive way more into this, just saying. If you would like to join the class, it starts May 26th. Go to my website koshukuna.nl and enroll today.